thank you to that man last week who destroyed my soul by telling me that I only have one skill, that is how to find a job and work for others. Why would you do that to me when I'm so proud of my corporate achievements, my titles, my two master's degrees, all my certificates and all the courses that I have attended? Seriously, thank you. The truth hurts, but it is your best friend. It did hurt last week, but you know what? He was right. You have only one skill. That is to how to find a job and how to work for others. Now let's break that down. So imagine that there are two bags. The first bag is named how to stay employed. And the second bag is named how money works for you. In the first bag, you have all the skills that you have developed during the years, all the achievements, the titles, the certificate, and everything that you are so proudly showing off on LinkedIn. Rightly so, because you need to stay employed or you need to get a job. Whether you are a full-time employer, a freelancer, or a consultant, it's the same thing. You are getting a job and you are working for others. Because your livelihood depends on this bag, you are busy and focused on filling it with more certificates, with more higher title, with more courses, with more skill development, leadership skill development, a little bit of emotional intelligence, a little bit of empathy, a little bit of project management skill, and so on. You learn how to manage up, how to manage down, how to manage others and yourself. You learn how to fit the culture and you also learn how to please your boss so you don't get fired. But the truth is that nobody has ever built wealth through these skills. These skills will get you jobs and they will keep you employed, which is fine. Sometimes you just need to keep going. But the problem with them is that you're going to have to do them constantly. Otherwise, the money will dry up. So the second bag has only one skill and that is understanding how money works for you so you don't have to work for the money. Now that's the only skill millionaires and billionaires have. They understand how money works for them. Now, of course, they would have a couple of skills from the first bag, which got them started making money, but they immediately knew how that money works and they jumped into the second bag. Just watch these millionaires and billionaires being interviewed and they will tell you the same thing every time. Yes, I have been broke many, many times, but that's okay because I know how money works. They have very different relationship with money and not because they have the money, but because they understand how money works for them and how to make more of it. But just look at the celebrities. Initially, they use their talent, their skill to make money. But after that, branding and PR and financial advisors came into the picture, making sure that the money works for the celebrity and not the other way around. Some never really been to the first bank. They don't really have any talent or skill. They just immediately knew how money works. That's why I love it when these billionaires and millionaires are talking about leadership skill, but that's not what happened when they were building the foundation of their business. They didn't even know what leadership meant. And you know what? Most of the time, these billionaires and millionaires, they don't talk about self-development and professional development and skill development. That's for us. We look up to them, we buy their leadership books, right? And we follow them, not realizing that our attention is on how to stay employed and not on how money works. Any leadership course that you do is only to keep you employed. So yes, whenever you feel proud and you post on LinkedIn about your latest promotion, your latest skill development, your latest certificate, just remember all you are saying and proud of that, hey, I have mastered the craft of finding a job and working for others. You are proud of that skill because your second bag is empty, but it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. We all have to make money. But once you are aware of it, hold on to those very few skills that you can make money out of and then start learning how you can invest. What is it that you can do? So eventually in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, two years, I don't know, money starts working for you. Otherwise, all you are going to do for the rest of your life is filling your first bag desperately and being so proud of, oh, I achieved another course and I got another employee of the month certificate. Nobody cares, and that's not, never going to build you money or wealth. 
and wealth, I don't mean you are going to be a millionaire or billionaire. I know people who figured it out on a smaller scale and they make a very comfortable living out of it. They don't work. The money is working for them. For them. They get three, four, five thousand dollars a month and then that's it. They are happy. So do that. 